Hello there, this is Marcos from Integra Design. Today I'm happy to show you our a demo of our brand new uh, extension um, MPSS for MPSS company, uh, which is sitting in Germany. And um, yeah, so the, the extension here is more or less ready for release. Um, I would like to show you uh, something like that here. So this is the company MPSS minus gmbh.de or .com. And today I would like to show you something like that here. So a secondary steel construction here with some uh, beams and some consoles and some clips. And um, yeah, in all that in combination with our product Sucre and uh, I would like to show you the current status of our module 4 as well. So uh, I will show you today module 1, module 2 and module 4 in combination. Please keep in mind that module 4 is still in progress. So it's still under development. Um, I would say we have reached now an early beta stage here. So uh, yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, in regards if something goes wrong or some errors pops up or something like that what I don't uh, what I did not hope or what I don't hope but um, yeah it could be <coughs> okay so let's start and uh, hope you will enjoy the video here and uh, hope you will see how easy and unbelievable fast it is to create secondary steel constructions uh, inclusive uh, uh, drawings here with our product. So let's start. Um, another thing here, so as you can see here, um, um, MPSS company has uh, some, some samples here or some typicals and I have created also these typicals in Plan 3D. Um, and so in a rough, in a rough, um, in a rough basis, I would say, so I will use one of these typicals to start with my um, yeah my secondary steel construction. But uh, later it's up to you. So you can you can also start with a with from scratch. So with a brand new uh, construction. Um, yeah. So um, yeah, why not? We 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 do it a little bit bit different here. Uh, I will show you um, um, how it looks like at the end on your machine. So if you decide to do not start with the with the typicals here, then uh, you can start from scratch. And this is what I want to show you now. So um, I know that um, that MPSS sold these beams here with the large um, plate here below. Uh, which is called um, K05 um, and this one is T01, the console here with both both blades and this I need to keep in mind when I start my construction here with this parts. So let's dive in. Um, I would just quickly show you the typicals here. So as you can see here these are just rough typicals, but uh, for MPSS, uh, absolutely enough here for as a starting point. Um, so as you can see here, this is all the all the typicals I created already, and now let's start with a brand new construction here. Um, first, I need to choose the correct steel structure here. I've created new profile standard for MPSS. And now I will create the two columns here. So these are the um, MP Flex 060 K05B, because as I mentioned before, K05B has the large um, the large blade um, at at the bottom. I will use that one here. And now I can start with my um, profile construction I will use a height of two meters here um, 
then I have a width of 150 and again 2 meters and now I have to switch that one here to T01 for the console and um, I will move that a little bit down so for example I don't know 100 millimeters I uh, hope that is enough and um, now I will cut the profile here a little bit with the standard functionality so nothing special for now um, I use that one and that one that one and that one okay and now I will copy this profile four times again uh, with 300 millimeters distance so 600 900 1200 okay looks good and I will copy that one here to the side so that one and now I will shorten that a little bit so one meter okay so let's check again yeah it looks quite similar looks good for now it's absolutely fine um, all right so the rough shape is uh, defined here and now uh, the first magic uh, function will will shown here uh, the first thing I need to do is to switch from normal steel structure catalog to uh, our pipe spec here um, so keep in mind that for this function I will show you in a second you need to activate the MPSS pipe spec before and now you can enter switch profile structure for the drawing I will say run and now you can see that everything will be placed and, ex and replaced uh, you will you will get a question if you want to delete the old profiles I say yes because I don't need it anymore and now you can see that it looks quite similar to to that one here to that picture and um, yeah what I need now here is um, I need some uh, bolt connections to mount the consoles with the with the columns here the column beams and um, this is also pretty easy to do um, the one of you who did already saw my other videos know that we work with our uh, intelligent um, short code system here and uh, for that we use that as well so uh, MPSS um, flex uh, series 60 system comes with two screw connections so X01 uh, and X02 uh, the, the, the difference between both are so X01 has a twist lock um, nut and the X02 has a normal nut and um, for all the consoles here uh, we we need the the screw with a twist lock just on that side here we need the other one with a normal bolt and two nuts on both sides so let's do that so I just select all my uh, my consoles here go back and say bolt type at the top side I set it to 1 and the other side I set it also to 1 and now you can see that all bolts are placed in correct um, length and distance and uh, everything looks fine and you can see here I mentioned it earlier that on that side here um, the, the bolt set is wrong so I will change that um, I need to say bolt type at the top side this is the top side so I need to change that to 2 and now you can see we have a bolt with two nuts here and now I just need to um, to adjust it a little so it looks pretty good all right so for now the steel, tru steel structure is ready I think um, now I will place some some pipes on it 
just use that one or any other pipe spec, it doesn't matter. Um, just use that point here as a starting point, move it a little bit to the side. I will change the dimension here, size. Okay, and now I give it a try because we implemented a functionality that they will tell you um, the exact distance you need to move your pipe if the distance is not correct for the pipe clip here. So just uh, press auto select clamp here, press the beam or click on the beam and then the pipe and then you see that if something goes wrong the pipe will be colored in red as an indicator for you and now you see um, that you have to move the pipe um, 46 millimeters uh, down. I will do that. 46. Okay. This will work. The next thing I will move a little bit to the side and another one I will change. I will change the diameter once more and this is fine for now. Um, I will also press auto select clamp and now uh, I have to move it up 13.25 millimeters. I will do that. All right. Let's align that a little bit more to the middle. Okay. All right. Let's check it again. Yeah, it looks looks quite quite nice, quite similar. Okay. So now let's copy the pipes below. So 300, 600, 900, 1200. And I will also copy two um, pipes to the, the small piece here. Okay, so now let's add automatically all the clips. So I will select here auto select multiple clamp. I will select all my steel structures, press OK, and now they will tell me that they found um, a, a clip here. I will choose that one. All of them will be uh, placed and adjusted automatically. And now I'm finally close uh, to 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 finish here the, the construction. So the last thing I need to do because um, for MPSS company is really important that you will order the screws separately. So um, you need the article number uh, or you need some article numbers in your bill of material here later on the, on the drawing. So as you can see here, it's combined um, right now with the beams and that's not correct um, because otherwise uh, you, you will not see the, the bold tickle numbers here later on the drawing and for that case we have also created a new function that we can convert here the, the screws as, as normal parts as normal blend 3D parts so let's do that so you can convert it here to single parts I just click here on the uh, important uh, that one I do not need uh, because here is not a screw that screw is comes from from that uh, from that um, beam here so the five on the are enough I will run the command and now you can see that all the screws will be replaced and added again as single parts you can see that here you have also um, the correct uh, definition, so then the, the, the correct description, also the correct tickle numbers and something like that. So everything we need for our drawing. All right, um, just just a small um, hint here. So um, if you converted the screws to single parts and later you uh, find out that you need that you have to extend something here or do you di need different screws? We also implemented a, re a reverse function here. So um, we re with reverse to original, you can 
select all the single parts again and press enter and now you can see it's uh, all, uh, it's again a combined part here and you can switch the, the parameters as uh, uh, as you you do it normally uh, for now I do not need that so that's why I do undo here um, okay so now the SU is ready for production I would say and now I want to create uh, automatically drawings from it um, <coughs> I have to say so this is not as normal drawing this is a, a plans a real plan 3d auto drawing and um, follows the same functionality here so you can update your full views later you can drive your template with auto configuration so um, table configuration and um, uh, dimension styles, uh, table styles and something like that. So this was really important for us that we use the, the, the normal auto functionality for that. So the last thing we need to do here is uh, just combine everything to, uh, to one SU number. So you can do that here with attach support, just select all the parts here, then you will get a, a question here to enter SU number. Uh, for now, I will decide that this is SU010. Okay. And now, if I check here my uh, my properties, I see that all the parts are um, uh, named with with the with the uh, SU number. And um, when I s press select support here and click on one part, then everything will be selected, um, which are um, yeah, related to the SU number. And now uh, let's do the drawing here. So I press to Sucre module four, uh, say, say select support again, that everything is selected. Then <coughs> I have to, um, Select the first few I want to use for my for my um, um, drawing production. I say yes, it's fine for me. Say OK. I will select it again, and now I say auto create multiple view. And that's it. So as you can see here, um, the SU is created here with correct dimensions. Um, I mean, as I said uh, at the early, uh, at the beginning, that this is just under development, this module here, and uh, we have just reached the early beta stage here. So keep that in mind, but <coughs> I think it's already very impressive and ready to show you something here uh, yeah as you can see here so everything looks good everything uh, which is needed for um, for the production here or for the assembling is um, annotated uh, we have also some position numbers here and we have also a correct um, MPO um, this is the MPO on the auto drawing of course um, but you also can use uh, module 2 to export a normal MTO for uh, as an Excel or something like that. <coughs> Sorry. And yeah, so we are ready to go. So that's that's it for now. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed, enjoyed the video and uh, see you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.